welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can create this rose gold inspired clown makeup. It's very glam, it's very cute. I know a lot of people do like clown makeup looks. A lot of people do like Pennywise clown makeup looks, but I just feel like putting out another Pennywise makeup tutorial into the world is not really that effective. I feel like there's so many. So basically I got this wig from Bellamy a couple of months ago and immediately when I saw it I just thought about doing a rose gold inspired clown makeup look. I know that sounds a little bit weird but I, I kind of I kind of love it. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> but yeah if you guys want to see how I created this rose gold inspired glam clown makeup look <laughs> let me keep on watching. Okay, so we are starting out by priming the eyelids and I will be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion today. I then went into the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and the shade Demure, Dem Demure, Dem I'm not sure, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> and this will be my transition slash base shade for today. Next, I use the shade Doll Face just to warm up the crease a bit more before we go into the darker shade that we will use a lot of in today's video. And this dark shade is called Coco. And per usual, I'm going back and forth with my brushes, always using a clean fluffy brush to blend out any harsh edges. Because I wanted to put as much focus on my eyes today as possible, I'm going to cut my crease and I always do this with a MAC Pro Longwear concealer and a flat brush. I've tried so many concealers for this purpose but I just feel like I always go back to my MAC Pro Longwear. I love this for this. So I then went in with two of the shimmer shades in the same palette. One is called Rose Gold and the other one is called Pink Diamond. And I just layer them on top of each other on top of the sticky concealer. That way I didn't even have to use Fix Plus because it just stuck right on. I also went back with a smaller brush to darken up my crease even more with the shade Coco. I'm now just cleaning up my eyes with Q-tips and I think that this works a lot better than tape. It also irritates the skin a lot less, so I definitely recommend that. I then applied a pretty good amount of the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in the shade Catcall and this is actually one of my all-time favorite glitters. I love this so much and it will not move anywhere. You can wear it for hours guys, it's so good. For a liner, I will use the NYX Professional Makeup That's The Point eyeliner and this eyeliner is literally my life. The tip is so, so tiny and precise that it's easy for even someone who usually isn't doing eyeliner or just for someone like myself who like three or four cups of coffee before I do my eyeliner. <laughs> I also applied some gel liner in my waterline to darken it up. And I then just spritzed some toner that I have in this Fix Plus bottle on a sponge and cleaned up the fallout. So for primer today, I'm first starting out by moisturizing my skin with this glow product from Glam Glow that is called the Glow Starter. I got it in PR the other day and it smells like... It it smells like candy. It smells so good and it's also super hydrating. I then tried out another product for the first time today, which is the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Primer. And this also smelled so good. My face was just ready to be smelled by the world at this point. I'm definitely combining this primer and the Glam Glow Glow Starter again. It will happen probably every day from now on. <laughs> Next, I went in with foundation and I didn't really need to smack on a ton of foundation I felt like today. I really wanted it to look glowy and kind of natural. So I'm going in with the Benefit Cosmetics Hello Happy Foundation today. I really enjoy this foundation, guys. It's It really reminds me of NYX Professional makeup's drop foundation. I really, really like it. I then went in with some bronzer and I'm using the Hoola Bronzer Stick today. Also blending that out with the same beauty blender that we used for foundation earlier before. So 
So to cover up my huge ass eye bags, I'm using my Ride or Die Concealer from Urban Decay. This is the Naked Skin Concealer and I'm just applying this where I need some extra coverage. So basically underneath my eyes, around my nose, my chin, between my brows, all over my face basically. <laughs> And I am baking today with a favorite of mine that I surprisingly use every single day. And it is the airspun powder. I am, however, storing it in one of these Laura Mercier translucent setting powder jars because I like the packaging better. <laughs> you know, the powder doesn't go everywhere when I open it and so on. And I just let that sit and bake for about 10 minutes and I then blended it out with a brush. So for my powder bronzer today, I'm using another fave of mine and it is the NYX Matte Bronzer and I am working that in with one of these huge ass powder brushes from Urban Decay. I also went in with a tiny amount of contour powder to frame my face even further and I'm using a contour palette from Urban Decay and it is the Shape Shifter palette in the shade Light Medium. Okay, so don't judge me, but I'm still using this strobe cream from Sigma. This is probably three years old, guys. I, I, I can't live without it. I should probably buy a new one, though. I just buff it in with a small fluffy brush, and it just adds this wet, realistic highlight that intensifies even more when you put on your highlighting powder. Speaking of highlighting powder, I will be using three of them today. The first one was a little bit of a fail because it totally looked rose gold in the packaging, but once I put it on my skin, it, it kind of looked purple. So I then decided to kind of rub it off with my fingers and apply some MAC Gold Deposit to mute the purple, which worked almost too well because now my highlighter wasn't even popping any longer. It was just kind of golden and muted. I don't like that. <laughs> so I then went in with a highlighting powder from Bobbi Brown and that just did it for me. Okay, so for these clown triangles or whatever we shall call them, I'm using a liquid lipstick today. And why am I not just using face paint instead? Well, I couldn't find a color that looked like this. So also these liquid lipsticks are super easy to clean up with concealer. This one is the liquid suede from NYX Professional Makeup in the shade Soft Spoken. Um, so I just basically started by outlining the triangles with an angled eyeliner brush and I then just filled them in. Now, something definitely worth knowing before doing this is that the liquid suede are not drying down completely. So you kind of need to go over it with a translucent setting powder or just any powder to make it matte. So once I was done filling in the triangles, I then went into my airspun powder again and just gently went over the triangles with the brush. I then decided that it will look a lot cooler to create an ombre effect for these triangles to kind of match my eyes. So I started out by picking up some of the cocoa shade from the Huda palette once again and I just filled in the widest part of the triangles with that. I then went into the shade Risqué and filled in the middle part of the triangles. And lastly I went into the shade Demure or Demure, Demure, I'm not sure, <laughs> to lighten up the tips of the triangles. I also added some of the lighter contour powder or like highlighting powder, I guess, from the Urban Decay Shape Shifter palette to further lighten up the tips, but also to like blend it all together a little bit more. So next, I just took another angled eyeliner brush and I cleaned up the edges of the triangles with some concealer.
Next, I put some more of the same liquid lipstick onto my nose to give us that clown nose. And here I'm also going into the shade Coco again from the uh, same Huda palette that we used earlier to make it look darker around it. And then I applied a tiny bit of the shade Bubbly, also from the Huda palette, in the center of my nose to make it look a little bit more round and you know ball like so for lipstick today i will be using three different products um i will be starting out by outlining my lips with the mac and patrick star collab uh the lip liner in the shade mahogany and just kind of i i just kind of aimed for that clown looking mouth so i'm just dragging the lipstick out like past my corners to make me look a little bit like the joker <laughs> i then just put on a bit of nyx liquid suede lipstick in the shade sandstorm to make the color a lot less red focusing mostly on the center of my lips and then once again i went into the shade coco to darken up the corners and kind of create that ombre look that we've been going for this entire video And last but not least, I prepped my lashes for mascara by curling them and I then applied some Bad Gal Bang mascara from Benefit and I then applied my favorite lashes from House of Lashes in the style Iconic and that's it guys! And this is the finished look! So I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video, I had so much fun today! I just love Halloween. <laughs> I will actually be vlogging next week, like all the week. It's a weekly vlog. <laughs> so yeah, but I think that I might be able to get a video up for you guys next week on Sunday. I can't promise anything, but I hope so. Like next week is 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 crazy on so many levels, but I'll, I'll try. Um, but the week after that, like the week before Halloween, I will actually put out a video with last minute uh, makeup looks, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching this video today and I will see you guys in my next Halloween video. Bye guys. Go crazy, berserker.